It's looking good. And how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to 947 Work. So today, we're working on a bike that I've actually been working on for the last three days or so. Um, and I'm so stoked on it, and you're getting to see my natural hair right now. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm going to turn this camera around and show you guys, and today we're going to make some more progress on it. This is it. This is Alan's bike. You guys know Alan. He was on that uh, Sportster you know, and I don't have to describe Alan to you guys. You know, who can who can forget that face? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's finally time that we're putting this bike together. Um, how long have you been playing this, Alan? I'm like I'm gonna cry right now. I have been slowly amassing parts for like two years, and I've been kind of of the mindset like do it once, do it right. So they say it's expensive, and it's really expensive. Very I've expensive. Staring at a pile of parts for two years and still finally. Yeah, and it's fucking sick um so yeah i mean it's uh i guess we can go over like the parts pooks parts lowers mullins chain drive trees vitsy boys uh risers sam wraps frame it's got who's this guy uh, yassi yassi customs. Yassi customs seat um we got the uh what is uh what are they called butt seats bra which uh, I made work for this frame. And I had to do some uh, some fuckery here. I had to basically cut out a quarter inch of the frame at the bottom to uh, fit Alan's uh, Delcron cases. And, uh, and Sam, it's, don't feel bad, it's completely my fault. I didn't even know it had Delcron cases when I ordered that frame for me. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's my fault. So Sam did a great job, and he's the one that also built that bike, but unfortunately I just sold that frame because I can't afford to build it right now. So either way, you're going to get single down tube content. But today, uh, yesterday actually I did quite a bit. I finished up the welding on the frame, just kind of threw the kickstand on for now, mounted the oil tank, uh, and put the front end all together and the rear wheel on. So today we're just going to mount the rear fender um, and throw the motor in there, throw the trans in there, uh, kind of assemble like lightly the um, the primary just to know if the kickstand's in the right place. I just kind of threw it on there so it can lean. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. And then eventually I have to figure out how the sissy bar is gonna work, but let's get to it. We just mocked up the sissy bar just to see how it's gonna sit. Not bad. Not bad. But we're trying to figure out the spacing on the fender and uh, it'll probably be a little bit higher than this. Like right there, I'm thinking. But uh, this is uh, Sugar Baby Cycles made this fen uh, sissy bar one of his bikes and it's pretty sick it's a it's got a detachable top piece so if you want to run around town you can uh, take off the top and if you want to do long distance you can put it back on extendo extendo Well, we've done a horrible job at actually filming any of this process. <laughs> I think the last thing we filmed was uh, the trans going in. Yeah, there it is. But we just kind of mocked up uh, the electron carb, the mag, and the foot pegs and the brake and stuff. Um, basically, I think I'm going to take off the battery tray because with the butt seats bra, um, we don't need the battery trays. And uh, currently, let me show you on the other side. Currently, the trans can't move any more forward because it's hitting right there. So I'm thinking if I can just take this battery tray off, then cut these tack welds and just move this up to where the battery tray is sitting right now. 
it would perfectly clear. And then if that was the case, then And that could all go on properly. So it's gonna be fucking sick, dude. I'm so glad I found this cast plate. Yeah. That's bad boy, man. That's bad boy. But we're getting pretty good so far. I mounted the fender where we want it. And I think what I'm gonna do with the sissy bar is um, basically just cut this section out right here, widen it so it fits within the seat parameters so the seat doesn't look all wonky because as you can see the seat comes out from the uh, from the sissy bar so i'm just going to widen this out to the size of the seat and then that way the fender sits in there perfectly and uh this thing is bad boy so fucking horny. bad boy hey. bad boy it's pretty sick and then he's got a F and A pancake light. Super skinny front end. Super small and skinny. Yes, sir. Pretty cool. You're not gonna be able to see a thing. Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> I'm put you behind me. Maybe we should put a little light right here, like they do. Oh, like the Beamer dudes with the triangle lights. They call it. You know what I'm talking about? I've seen it on like a lot of like Springer front end bikes with that are super tall like this, yeah. and it's just a little spotlight that goes down. Um, or just strap whatever you got on your fucking XLH. <laughs> the, the like bar LEDs. The the Tesla light. Just see the fucking moon. Yeah. <laughs> so here's uh part one. I mean I don't know if I'm gonna finish the video right now, but this is what we got for now. I have to move the oil tank mount in the front. Uh, fix the sissy bar. We need to order a few more things like a gasket for the cam cover. I didn't put that on fully. And then we can start, uh, you know, timing the mag and putting the whole uh, primary together and do the oil lines, finish up the gas tank, and then we can try and start it, honestly. I'm going to fucking scream if it starts first kick. You got to do the, it's not going to start first kick, but yeah, you got to do, <laughs> you got to do the uh, blue scream when it does. Fucking wired and fired my balls. What wires? <laughs> two, the two on this fucking The thing. two for the headlight, yeah. Um, do you already have the battery eliminator? No. So add that to the list. So we're just going to put a little battery eliminator in the oil tank. But damn, it's looking good. I'm going to shoot some B-roll. Oh, yeah, buddy. Dang. Hey. It's looking good. Actually, those, the high mids are not, <laughs> yeah, there you go. they're not that bad. Yeah. Are like, yeah. Although you're like, your elbows are on your knees. Let's see what you look like up front. Are you able to put both your feet up? <laughs> That's insane. It's actually really comfortable. You should sit on it. Don't tell me what to do. Don't ever say that to me again. Sit on it. Matt's here. What's up, Matt? Just waiting to sit on it. <laughs> We're building Matt's bike next. Yeah. That's true. Yes, it is true. <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. Yeah, that does look sweet. <laughs> Damn. So I'm done working on this thing for the day. Because it's been two days of nonstop grinding on this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll fill you guys in in the next video. This might be the end of this video. I don't, I don't know yet. So if it is, you'll get another click. But uh, we'll...
you know, we'll see you tomorrow.